G'day people. Today, or tonight, as the case may be, I'm going to be making Thai green chicken curry. The Australian way and the easy way. The easy way is using a pre-made um, a pre-made paste. In this case, uh, this is the this is the I M paste, which you can get from Woolworths. Uh, now, you get a there's a bunch of different people making pastes, and most of them are no bloody good. So, the way to tell if they're any good is to read the ingredient list. This one, the number one ingredient is lemongrass and green chili, both at 13 percent. So. You know, lemongrass is absolutely critical to good, a good uh, Thai curry needs needs lemongrass. So the iron's not bad. The iron's pretty decent. Uh, some of the others, you know, if you while you're in, in the supermarket, have a look. And if the main ingredient is water, if the main ingredient is garlic, don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy it. Get the iron or something else where you know. Lemon grass is up the top. That's what you want. Mm. Yep, that's what you want. So these are basically the ingredients I'm going to use. It's very easy. Start with an onion. <laughs> How many dishes start with uh, peeling an onion, right? Most of them. Most savoury dishes start with peeling an onion. It's just the way it is, guys. Guys and girls, it's the way it is. Anyway, Thai cuisine is, uh, yeah, it's great. Thai cuisine is really good. And uh, if it's done well, which it's not always done well, I've got to say, not always. But, um, you know, uh, and if it's done well, green chicken curry and, and, and a red chicken curry, you know, Thai green curry, Thai red curry, they're both, both very good. They're about as good as each other, I think. I don't think one's better than the other. They're about, about equal and they're excellent. They're, they're really excellent. And you know, the critical things are, of course, the chili and the, and the, uh, the lemongrass, very important. Galangal, important. I don't think fish sauce is important. I mean, Thais can complain and jump up and down, but fish sauce, not the greatest thing ever invented, in my opinion. Now, I know that's only my opinion, and other people do not share my opinion. Fine, it's great. Just wash the onion off. Now we uh, we fry up fry up the onion. We're going to fry the chicken. Now I'm using peanut oil. Don't need a huge amount. Uh, don't use olive oil for Thai cooking. Olive oil is for Italian cooking. Or possibly for European cooking, but not Thai. I mean, they don't have olive trees in Thailand. They wouldn't grow there. Well, I don't think they'd grow there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they would. If you can find a dry part of Thailand, I suppose there might be some dry parts. I don't know. Or there might not be. Right, so you can make it with different things, but it's very good with chicken. Of course, chicken is about the cheapest meat you can get these days. I seem to remember when I was a kid, chicken was not the cheapest meat. Uh, so, you know, a chicken roast, like we used to have chicken roast from time to time, but it wasn't that common. I mean, people would probably rather have most of the time have a lamb roast rather than a chicken roast. So I've got a feeling that back in those days, lamb might have been cheaper than chicken. 
Which he certainly is not now. <laughs> certainly is not. Not in 2024, it isn't. God, you can't even imagine those days. So you want to dice up the chicken, oh, you know, roughly at centimetre. Centimetre cubes is always good, you know. Centimetre cubes. Now this is a really, really easy thing to make. Like a lot of, a fair bit of my stuff's easy to make, not all of it, but this one's easy. And very tasty and reasonably quick, like, you know, go to woe. It'd be, you know, an hour you'll be eating it. So, it's a great thing to make when you're in when you're, you know, in a bit of a hurry, not too much of a hurry, but a bit of a hurry. You can whip it up, you know. Let's whip it up. So, and the, one of the reasons it's so fast is because chicken, you know, you, you don't need to stew chicken. You don't want to stew chicken. It's a bad idea, right? Chicken's a bit like fish. You just want to, especially the breast, right? Chicken breast, you just want to get it hot. You know, once it goes white, it's done. big stainless steel frying pan, right? Fantastic. It's really great. It's got a lid. It's got a lid. It's big. It's got a lid. You can cook stuff in it, you know. You can fry it. Uh, quite a bit of stuff. Put the lid on. Simmer it if you need to. Really good. Fantastic. It's very heavy. It's very heavy, which is a pain, you know. You don't. But, what can you do? That's the way it is. Time for another beer. I think I said last time I was, when I was drinking beers, uh, that I wasn't going to drink any more VB. So, I went and I bought some Stella, but it's not proper Stella, you know. Like anyone that's been to Europe knows what proper Stella is supposed to be, and it's an excellent beer, right? Really excellent beer. But this shit, made under supervision of AB, AB, distributed by D8G, Sydney. Yeah, it's not proper Stella, even though it says it is. It's got their label on it, but no. No, no, no. So, I put in some uh, some chili. What? Good. Nice heat teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. I mean, Thai love their, Thais love their chili, right? They love it. Still up. Nah, it's no good. What are you doing? Bloody idiots. Belgium. I thought you had, thought you had uh, pride in your work, Belgium, and you produce garbage like this. What does it taste like? Ugh. Something weird in there, like dishwashing liquid or something? I don't know. It's bloody awesome. Oh, that's I mean, there's... It's like there's a conspiracy. Alright? VB, which is pretty garbagey, pretty, pretty ordinary. I mean, if there was nothing else in the world, I'd drink it. 
but uh, it's not great. And you've got all these great beers, you know, Peroni and, uh, and Stella and Heineken, right? Three of the world's most famous beers. And they're great beers if you get them in Europe. They're really good. And they make them in Australia and they're garbage. It's like there's a conspiracy. Every beer you buy is garbage. Um, unless you can get some imported, imported European beers. Like you can get Beck's. Beck's isn't bad actually. Maybe I should just go and find Beck's where I can find that. That's not too bad. At least that's imported. The stuff they make, what is wrong with them? Uh, Australia's a good place. Why the hell can't they brew decent beer in Australia? I can't see any reason why they can't. They just don't. Um, I won't be buying that again. Sup bottle. I mean, Sapporo is probably the uh, the best beer I can find at the moment, and I'm drinking it. I just thought I'd try something a bit different, but you know, it's no good. is in, now we're going to put the paste in, right? So I like a lot of paste. If you if you don't like a lot of paste, um, you know, go off to another country or something. Um, yeah, I put half a half half a jar in. Strong flavour. Strong. Nice. Boom. It's all good. Now we need to put some veggies in. So I like to put in some red capsicum. And carrots. That's what I put in mine. You can put your like in yours. Put all of it. Still haven't figured out the optimal way to disembowel a capsicum. I and mean, I'm sure there is an optimal way. I thought I'd try this way this time, but I've got seeds everywhere, it's obviously not the optimal. Might go back to the old way. But anyway, she'll be right. Don't even worry about it. Chop her up. Good as gold. Non c'è problema. Off. In Nederlands. Geen probleem. Right. Now the other great thing about Thai curries is the Coconut milk. What a fucking great thing. Coconut milk, eh? Well, coconut extract, I suppose. Technically. What a great thing. What a great bloody thing it is. Uh, there's 
various people in the um, equatorial coconut belt, like, you know, not just the Thais or the Malays or the Indonesians, but, you know, Polynesian Islanders. Coconut is the staff of life. You can get everything from a coconut tree. You know, you get, you can build your house out of the trunk, you can, you can thatch, you can make your roof out of the palm fronds. Then you got the, your food from the, the coconut. You can drink the water in the middle. You can eat the extract, you know, which is high in fat. A lot of calories in it. Fantastic. And it's also got a, a wonderful flavor, you know, really. What a wonderful flavor coconut is. Really good. So, we've got the, uh, we've got the coconut milk in, now we're just going to, uh, we're just going to relax and let it all come together. I'm going to put in a couple of salt spoons of salt. And a bit of extra, a bit of extra uh, ginger. A couple of. A couple of teaspoons of ginger. And uh, we want some carrot. A bit more veggie. Carrot's good. Carrot's good for this. So we'll chuck in some carrot. Just gonna check, make sure this camera's still working. Yeah. Just keeping an eye on it because of all, all the times the camera's cut out on me in the middle of cooking something. But it's alright, we've got 12 minutes so we're, we're good. We're good to go. Nothing to worry about. Alright, might chop a few of these up a little bit more. I mean, you can get all anal about it, but why bother? Just, just get them some sort of useful size. Easily, easy to eat size. Throw them in. Good as gold. Right, we've got all that stuff. Throw that out. Just got some rice here. Some rice, and I've got some peas. I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer before I put the peas in. Because you know, peas don't take long. They don't take long. Right, and we'll get the... on and then I'll just let it sit and stew and until it's done. Now I don't wash my rice. There's no reason to wash your rice. If you're Asian you'll be going sacrilege, you gotta wash your rice. Well no you don't. Whoever told you that is uh, telling you some old wives tale. You don't need to wash your rice. In fact, wash your rice, you're washing away starch. Why are you washing away starch? Starch is good. Starch contains calories. Starch, starch, binds, uh, starch binds the rice together. Don't wash it away. Right. So this is Thai jasmine rice. My favorite rice for all purposes, but you know, If you're going to cook Thai food, you want Thai rice, you know. Don't put basmati rice with Thai food. It's just not right. It's not right, don't do it. Right, so with, with uh, 
Thai jasmine, you want 50% water, 50% rice. So the same amount of water as you, had, as you had rice. So half a cup of half a cup of rice, so half a cup of water. We stir. I've already put uh, I put a level salt spoon for half a cup. And you put it in. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Um, so all you Asians who think you've got to wash your rice, no, you don't. It's an old wives' tale. I presume it dates back to when rice was dirty. It was dirty, you had to wash it. Yeah, if you've got dirty rice, you need to wash it. But the rice today isn't dirty. There's no dirt in it, you know. It's perfectly clean. All you do achieve by washing it is you wash away excess starch. Why? It's dumb. It's dumb. The rice is not better. It doesn't taste better. I've done it both ways, and trust me, it's not better. You'll be going, oh, it's more fluffy. It's more fluffy if you if you um, wash it first. It's more fluffy. Bullshit. It's not. Try it both ways, you people who think that you have to wash. Try it both ways. And after you've tried it both ways, then come and talk to me. Until you've done it both ways, don't talk to me, because you don't know. Uncle bloody Roger wouldn't have a clue about anything, you know. Don't talk to me until you've done it both ways. Right. Rice is about to go. We've got um, the curry has reached steaming point, bubbling away, all good. So I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it reduce, and then I'm going to throw in the peas, and I'm going to let the rice cook, and I'll be back. see if uh, ignorant fools like Uncle Roger have got anything to say, whether they are onto anything or they're just talking shit. Huh? Right. Rice. Oh, it would be disgusting and dirty if you don't wash it. Oh, it won't be fluffy. Look, you know, Is that fluffy rice? I think it's fluffy, you know. Here's the uh, the green curry, which I've got to say does not look green. Looks like looks like red curry. I don't care. It's good, whether it's red or green, it's good. Love it. So let's get this, uh, get the rice on the plate. And what is the Thai way? Do the Thai just put it on top of the rice? I don't know. As Asians always have their rice in a separate dish and you put on as much as you want or as little as you want. Which is fine, it's totally fine, it's fine. But once it's on the plate, once it's on the plate, do you mix it in or do you keep it separate? Well, you can do what you like, but I'm going to mix it in. Well, I'm just going to put it on top, right? I'm going to put it on top. There we go. A bit more. A bit more.
more of the sauce. Mm. Another video. Let's get the on the plate. There it is, on the plate. Cheap ass Australian. Australian, <laughs> easy as you like, Thai chicken curry. Now it's not proper Thai because it was proper Thai, it wouldn't come out of a jar. You make everything, you get all the uh, ingredients yourself, you know, you get your own galangal and you get your own um, lemongrass and you chop it up. And, and if you're really serious, you'd make your own coconut extract direct from raw coconut. But you know, can't be bothered, mate, when you can get out of jar. It's good, you know. It's good. Well, it's not the same as what you get from a proper Thai restaurant. It's not proper Thai. It's Australian Thai. It's easy. Easy Australian Thai chicken curry. And it's really good, honestly. It's not as good as the really good Thai stuff, but it's better than the shit Thai stuff. Like if you go to a shit Thai restaurant, which I'm not saying that there's that many of them, but there'll be some of them. This will be better than that. Really nice. The, um, the chicken... The chicken, just nicely cooked. It's not stewed to not stewed to toughness. It's nice and tender, you know. That's the thing. Don't cook your chicken too long. Not if it's chicken breast, you know. You want it to. Once it's white, it's pretty much done. Mm. The sweetness of the carrot. Carrot's really sweet. It's fantastic. And the sweetness of the uh, of the red capsicum. And the bite of the chili. So the paste came with came with chili in it, but it wasn't enough, so I put more in. And I put in a heat teaspoon and a half of chili. So I've got a bit of bite to it, right? Because it's got whatever was in the jar plus a teaspoon and a half of hot chili. Got a bit of bite. But you know, it's Thai, Thai cuisine. Thais love their chili, you know, you need a bit of bite. If you don't any bite, it's not really Thai, is it? Got that great flavour, you know, the lemongrass, the galangal. Fantastic. It's just a great thing. Thai cuisine. And the, uh, and the coconut milk, you know, Coconut extract. So important. You can't make it without it, right? Got to have it. Mm. Really good. Really, really good. And so little trouble, right? How long take me to make that? I don't know. Less than an hour. I mean, it probably took me about the time it takes to cook rice to make the to make the chicken curry and then and then the time it takes to cook rice to, for that to cook and cook the rice and then let the rice cool I right, should leave five seven minutes for rice to cool after you've cooked it less than an hour go to way less than an hour fantastic really good Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, it's great. The right amount of salt, the right amount of chicken, the right amount of carrot and, and capsicum, the right amount of chili, the right amount of, um, of paste. Really good, really easy, really good. And I'll make this a lot, like a lot. Probably every month I'll make this, you know, or maybe every two months I'll make this. I mean, I do make a lot of different dishes, but 
This is one of my go-tos because it's so easy and it's cheap. Because you know, chicken breasts are cheap. Easy, cheap, tasty. I mean, what more can you possibly want? That's no, great. It's great. Go for it.